Hi guys, welcome to day 31 of Scout Lockdown. Uh, we've already learnt the parts of the axe. Uh, we've already gone through axe safety. So today we're going to learn how to use the axe. Uh, the axe is not a toy. Um, it is, should only be used if you've got an adult with you, uh, unless you're fully trained. Um, so please don't play with the axe. Uh, I hope you enjoy watching this and I hope you learn uh, something from it. So today guys we're going to learn about the, an axe, it is a, a tool, it's not a toy, it's not a weapon, okay, it is a tool and when used safely it is very safe but for now do not do any chopping without growing up next to you and always ask permission before using it. Hope you enjoy. Hi guys, welcome to today's Scout Lockdown. Today we're going to learn a bit more about the axe and chopping wood. Um, Hopefully you saw our video the other day about your being safe with the axe, making sure your chopping area is the correct size. Today we're going to actually chop wood. So we're going to start with chopping wood and picking the piece of wood. So when we pick it, we're, we're going to make sure that it's got no nails in it. We don't want any nails in it. Some woods have got a knot in it. Well, a scout's not lazy, but we are energy efficient. There's no point wearing ourselves out trying to chop through the knot when we can chop around it or not chop that bit of wood at all. You don't need to chop it. If you can still burn it how it is, chop off the wood. There's no point sawing or chopping through the through a, um, knot if you can help it. If you've got the grain going the right way, you're not always going to have this be that lucky, but if you've got the grain going the right way, if you can chop with the grain, it's going to make it a lot easier. And make sure that it's not rotten, that it's just going to fall apart and make sure there's nothing else in it that shouldn't be in it. Okay, you definitely don't want to be not hitting a nail or a bit of wood, sorry, a bit, a bit of metal or something like that. When you got look at your axe, never just pick the axe up because it may, never just pick the axe up because it may just bring the whole log with you which is very dangerous. Always use the palm of your hand on there, push down to release the axe and lift up. So that again, push down, lift up and it'll release the axe. Always make sure your axe is sharp, a blunt axe is not safe. Always make sure the axe is sharp, sharp before use. A blunt axe is just going to go anywhere, bounce anywhere, sharp axe is going to be good. Make sure you've removed any scarves and any dangly bits. Put your wood on your chopping block. Stand back so you're an arm's length away. You want the head of the axe to be as far away from you as possible. Stand back and make sure you put the head of the axe is next to it. Come forward or back. Wait to adjust. Do not lean forward or do this. There is more power in that than there is in that, so make sure you're always holding the hammer. Your body is in alignment, so make sure everything's in line all the way down and stand center of the chopping block with your feet just over shoulder length apart. Do not stand to one side because if you miss the wood, it's going to your legs. Do not stand with your legs crossed or like that, always to one side. Take the axe at arm's length to the, to the wood. The first swing does not need to be mad or crazy. Does never need to be going above your head. Never does that. The first swing is to put the axe into the wood. It needs to be firm and hard, but not crazy. There's no need to do that. Just a solid into the wood. Once it's in, hit away. If you miss, if it's, it will go through your legs, which is why you have your legs apart. Okay? If it's sharp, it will go into the wood, into the chopping block, or through. If it's sharp, it will hit there. If it's blunt, it will bounce and move away. I'm going to show you that from the side. So stand with your feet apart 
and your axe at arm's length. Not too close, but you can only do that. That won't chop your wood. You'll be there for a long, long time and you won't get anywhere. Do not stand too far back, but you're leaning forward. You're likely to trip over. Always stand where you can reach it. Legs apart, so if you miss, it'll go through. The first swing puts it into the wood. The second goes through it. If it starts to turn like that, don't continue to hit it. Ease the axe out gently and start again. Remember the wood is already split so it's going to split a lot easier the second time. If you've got a stick but won't stand up, a log that won't stand up, you can use a don't be silly stick. That's one of these. You do not want to be doing that because your hand is in the way. So either crouch or kneel next to the act. Keep your hand forward. You want this head be as far away from you as possible. Use the don't be silly stick to balance the wood. First swing gets it in. Again, you don't need to be crazy in your first swing. We move the stick and we repeat the actions as before. I hope that's taught you some good chopping skills. Please only practice if you've got an adult safe with you. But I want you to learn the skills ready for the future. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay home.